Hey, what's up you guys? Haven't made a video in a while. Um, I was actually thinking of making a video at least once every week. Once every two weeks if I can on different costumes that I have. I have too many costumes right now uh, that I have ready for this upcoming Halloween that I actually didn't use this past Halloween. But anyways, uh, just to give you a little uh, preview. I had this guy. I wore this for last Halloween. That mask right there, that cow, which is uh, uh, made by Iconic Effects. I have a suit, and uh, I'm going to make a, a video on this. Stay tuned. Uh, one of my favorite costumes, one of my favorite characters, my favorite character will be Batman. Game character will be Master Chief. A really great um, costume that I got. It's from Nightmare Effects, I believe. If I Nightmare Armor, so, um there's a Halo effect, uh, Halo armor costume that was made about 15 years ago and acquired on eBay. I'm actually in the process of getting another Halo costume, but this thing is rock solid, man. Fiberglass, urethane. I don't know what the hell it's made out of, but I'll make a video on that. I'll make a video on that, um, on that Batman costume too. But anyways, back to the main event here, uh, which you guys are, I mean... Most of, most of my viewers are people that are into costuming, cosplaying, and horror, I believe. But yeah, um, this is the CFX silicone mask. There's two of them, and I'll explain why I have two, all right? And which one am I keeping? So this is the CFX Lopez mask, werewolf mask, which is like similar to the uh, Vinicio del Toro, wolf, the wolfman, uh, I got similarities and I actually love this again I have many masks I love Immortal but I wanted more of a classic no big snout built in teeth I just wanted I'm gonna have my own teeth this is more of a classic look if you see the wolfman in the back it has that similarities not the same that one does have a little a snout um, this one doesn't but it has more of a classic look I believe in my opinion yeah guys uh let's get to it uh one of the main th things you will see right away is the lining the, the lighting uh, and through the video through the lenses of the uh, iphone they look really similar but this one has more of a slight slider lighter paint than this one but as far as i mean beyond that it's pretty much the same thing pretty much the same sculpt same same mask. Now, let me get into detail here, guys. The mask, this mask are amazing. Uh, I always say the word amazing, why? Because they are amazing. They're beautiful uh, craft, uh, like beautiful craftsmanship goes into this mask, paint jobs and so on. But they are silicone. Now, I believe this is gonna be my second mask that I review from CFX. I have, do I have another one? No, no, that's pretty much, this is a, actually, this is my first CFX mask. The other one belongs to my, uh, to my wife, which is Exorcist, but this is my first one. But yeah, let's get to it. Um, paint app, amazing job. Can, can't say enough. The mask, the veins, the little freckles throughout the skin is just beautiful, beautiful. And the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, I usually see videos of people wearing them. It's a quick video. And uh, just to point out, point out uh, guys, the the veins don't are not pronounced as much in person than they are in the video. In the video, they look like it's, they're popping out, like they're on top, but not in person. The veins are actually, it looks like it's within the skin. If, I, if that makes any sense, it's just the video since I guess the HDR from the iPhone like makes it more pronounced, which is not like that. And it looks better on person. Again, it's always better to see something in person. The camera sometimes doesn't do it justice. Um, but yes, uh, I love the huge ears. I wish it had like a little bit of gloss in here, which I believe this one does. Yeah, this one has a little bit of slightly Better paint job in the ears, which in my opinion looks a little bit better. Looks dirty, uh, a little bit of gloss here. This one doesn't. Um, same thing goes, goes for the, well, the nose on this one. 
and 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 paint job is not gonna be the same on any mask it's never gonna be the same it's a unique paint job um pretty sure the the owner of this mask asked for this paint job this one asked for this paint job but i love how this thing goes it has the spine going all the way to the back it has the trap muscles right here so it makes you look bulky so if you're gonna do a costume which i am uh, i'm planning to do a custom planning to dress up as a wolfman my girl planning to dress as little red riding hood but with a mixture of a wolf if that makes any sense make uh my kids will be little werewolves yep a little red riding hood and the wolf got it on but anyways i just love the muscle they put right here it's just crazy the muscle definition it goes uh kind of more towards the bottom of your chest but just the detail guys really really good i love the eyes how they're so tiny so they actually goes up to like your eyelids so you can hardly see your eyelids makeup will fix that like any part of the eyelids that show up like that i mean you can see through the mask makeup will get rid of that right away so it blends in right through your face like i said i didn't want anything with teeth um just because it looks more natural with the a mask that doesn't have any teeth I wish the Pennywise mask didn't have any teeth uh, and I would just buy my own. It would have been better. It gives you more of a facial, better natural facial expression and, and looks. But anyways, uh, let me see this. It has, yeah, it's pretty much the same mask. Pretty much the same. Really thick silicone, especially by, back here in the back. It's really thick. It's really thick uh which in a way is better you don't feel like you're gonna tear this mask now that was that's this one beautiful mask if you want some hairless uh, like a uh what's it called should i have the name um i don't i don't remember but anyways if you want just a hairless werewolf mask i think this is the best one in my opinion it just gives you that original classic werewolf mask look now if you want some more classic real classic then in my opinion this is the best one i seen a um a, what would you call a, a member in the group that has this mask and made the costume almost exactly like that and looks amazing that's what i'm sorry if i'm a copy you sir but your mask your your costume your suit is so badass that i will have to copy you i'm gonna make the the silt stilts i don't know what to call but just to make myself look taller i'm gonna buy a muscle suit um and just create my own now this is all punched in and right off the bat guys it does have silicone in the back so the hairs won't come out which is perfect for me um same thing goes for the the hands the hands are beautiful Please sculpt it and this two came together this one about separate but just the hands the sleeves are sick paint job same thing always looks better on person i feel like the 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 veins on both masks are popping out way too much than what i'm seeing in person you can hardly see them but you could still see them in person it's just it's just enough hair but not too much which still shows the details of the mask same thing same paint job no difference well actually uh different different paint job but it's all hair punch throughout the bag now prices guys prices and why do i have two that's it's an overkill right first of all you guys know well i never mentioned but i like to buy masks that are unique but not too unique that you can make a costume out of it um, I had an alien mask from Immortal, which I sold. I just couldn't find the right costume. I wish I did, but I just couldn't. Then I sold it, and I kind of regret it, but that's fine. Um, I really don't like to get into the clown costumes. Everybody has them. Uh, werewolves, I hardly see any costumes of werewolves. I just want to, I just want more of what I meant to. And now what I think is, how do I explain it? Um, I don't buy masks just because I actually have to like the mask overall. Like meaning 
like yeah i could make a costume meaning um it has something to do with my childhood i grew up with like the monster not the monster verse but yeah the classic dracula the mummy frankenstein i love all that so this is the closest i have seen as far as like to the classic werewolf i know there's makers that make the exact replicas of the classic werewolf but to me this is like perfect but anyways i bought this one from a member which uh I, my my intentions were to punch do my the hair punch by myself which i know is gonna take a while it's gonna be a bitch to freaking do it's gonna be hours upon hours of doing the hair punching and i really don't have the time sometimes guys so bought this one uh for close to 500 dollars um actually yeah close to 500 dollars um before shipping i remember if i i don't remember correctly but this mask goes for 700 dollars on cfx if you buy it from then that it's not including the shipping so 675 i believe um without the hair this one same price but it's an additional five six hundred dollars for the hair the sleeves are five hundred dollars in an addition i believe four hundred dollars for the like the punch in here i got this one's for 800 this one for 500 so this one was a great deal i mean 900 this one it was a great deal i'm gonna sell this one just because i mean it's already done it's it comes with the sleeves i was supposed to buy sleeves i sold my old ones Anyways, guys, let me get into it and show you the difference between them once they're on. I've been talking way too much. Um, hopefully, I didn't bore you guys, but just if you guys know, I love like just overall Halloween. I love figures. I love movies. So yeah, let me put on the mask. Uh, also, this one fits more comfortable because this one has hair inside. But and this one, the movement's a little bit better because of the hair. It kind of like doesn't stick to your to your hand i mean to your face but let me put it on uh and you guys will judge which one's better for you or if you want to go another route but macy mask both are badass let me i'll get back to you all right guys let's get to the mask always a bitch to take this mask out of the head forms then when it's cold for some reason it's actually even harder I tried to put them on the headphones and it was so hard and then the, the headphones are so slippery that it's hard to get a grip on them, especially when you're wearing pajamas. So, shoot. Be careful when you guys take out this type of mask. Shit, guys. Out of the headphone headphones. It's so difficult, but it's, it's more difficult right now that it's cold. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. And there's hairs all over the place from the other previous mask. And I went bald too. Fucked up my hair. You see the freaking line. I actually needs to fix this hair today. Anyways, let me put on the mask. And you guys will see which one is better once it's on. Because uh, what was the point of me showing you a mask just on the head form? And I don't put it on. Right away, guys. Visibility on this mask, great. I don't have no issues. I can look at my peripherals. As you can see, let me get in the, the teeth. If you write fake teeth, I would just say like a, a canine on each side. That's what you have to do. It is thick from here, like I mentioned, guys. This is thick right here. And like any other mask that is thick, sometimes you're gonna feel pressure either around your neck, around your uh, around your shoulders, or on your head. Within a few minutes, I say your body tends to get used to it, but this one is just. Let me see if I'm there. My, by the way, guys, my head is a 21 inch and a half, close to 20 inches um, around and fits perfect. And this is what I was talking about, the eyelids. Mask goes really almost all the way up to the eyelids. That's what I like about this mask. 
it's really it doesn't leave, leave a gap for for your eyes to for your eyelids to show a lot if you just kind of blend it in with the with makeup if it's perfect I love the expression on this and as you do it like it looks more like you actually ex doing that expression I say just get some teeth guys and the mask will be perfect let me show you the back all the way to the back I do recommend if you do this you have to wear like a a baggy suit or or, or a muscle suit on there unless you're like built like a wolf built like if you work out all the time and I feel like if you don't, if you're gonna wear this mask, just wear something loose. Uh, I still recommend a muscle suit, which I'm gonna get, just so it could like match the mask when it comes to the muscles. My chest is all the way up to here. Mask comes all the way up to here. Uh, in the beginning, I was feeling a little pressure right here, but gone. Like I said, the silicone on this is thick. If you rip this mask, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Excuse my language for everybody that's young, but if you rip a mask like this, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how you're taking them off. But anyways, mask is amazing. Let me get on to the other one so you guys can see the difference. I'm not even gonna pause the video. I don't have time to edit this video, guys. I tried to do it as fast as possible. It's doing the editing. It's a pain in the ass. I used to do it for a couple of my toy videos and that was an hour, hour and a half. And I mean, I'm not the best editor or close to it or like, I'm bad. I don't have the, the techniques for that. I have to really get into it. And I will say it will take hours to create a good 10 minute video with editing and all that. So this is what I said, guys. It does have silicone in here. That's just so the hairs won't come out. You're still gonna have hairs. I have them all over my floor right now, but it's not as bad as if they didn't put the silicone in there to make it stick. So this is how it looks in the back. Once it's flat down, you don't see it. So let me put it on <clears throat> and you'll be the judge which one is better, which one do you like. If you can now go with another design. Okay. And put this closer, guys. Da -da -da. My tripod would just all right. Uh, it's always better to have someone help you out with the hair, make it look nicer. Same thing, guys. Uh, I don't see no restrictions in the mo actually in, in the beginning. First time I tried it, I felt like the other one had better movement, but it feels the same. But you do, uh, you do feel the little hairs inside the the mask. Uh, the hair you would just put a shirt on top. Uh, but I just feel like this one looks so badass. Same thing, makeup around the eyelids. Now for the sleeves, I'm not gonna put both the guys. I'm just gonna put one. It's just hard to put two if you need help. You would need help from somebody to, to put on both. Jesus, it's even hard just for me, for myself to do it. Initially what you do is just fold the, the sleeve down
like that. And then roll it up. Look at the, I love the, the, the paws. I feel like, like a dog, or like a wolf. They're huge. The sleeves, I have a small wrist. They fit me perfect. I don't have the biggest hand, about a size medium. And it looks amazing, guys. So hopefully this video will help you decide if you want this mask. Sorry if it's too long of a video, but I feel like this mask, once you get the costume going, if you wear contacts, I'm still a little, I'm still a chicken when it comes to contacts. I know contacts will make a mask look 10 times better, but I just suck at putting contacts, but the teeth with the costume will give you the effect, the blood is gonna look sick. Now, like I said, I'm gonna get those things that they give you the form of uh, wolf feet. They're like tilted to the side, which I'm gonna uh, cover with like fur. Anyways, guys, can't wait to show you this costume once Halloween comes up and I start building it. I'll I'll make videos of uh, throughout the process of how to make the the things for the legs, uh, the weathering, and hope you guys like it. Till next time, um, keep collecting your action figures. Keep being a nerd. Keep being a geek. Don't matter what anybody says, this is what you like, this is what you like. I personally love Halloween, I love figures. I'm a freaking nerd when it comes to movies, comics, horror, anything that has to be with pop culture too. Alright guys, till next time, y'all have a good one.